Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Sleep. Let's head in and check out last night's sleep research. It looks like we've got a little bit of update data pull to pull down. <laughs> all right. I hope you all slept well after all that big anniversary news yesterday. All right. How did you? Awesome. Full 100 sleep score. 12 less minutes, but that's all right. Ooh, a lot of snoozing. Very little dozing. That's cool to see. All right. But slumbering still wins out. Yeah, not as much tossing and turning for me yesterday, so that's, uh, it'll be fun to see how that has an impact on my day, So I feel very well rested. 28 million drowsy power, we've got seven spawns, but, uh, a little mix of everything, which is nice. Alright, let's see who's hanging out. We got the Cubone family, Togepi, Sveal. More of the Cubone family. Swablu. And Rilu. Alright. No new sleep styles today. No shinies today. But a nice little mix of slumbering sleep types. And no one's hungry. Alright. Well, I've got a good berry gathering Marowak. I've got a couple of interesting Swablu and Altaria. Togepi. It's right on the cusp, actually. Let's see what the daily gift is first. Diamonds. All right. Need more of those. Uh, and I got plenty of good wall rain. So, I think today it's not the most optimal play, but it's what feels right. Take Riolu home. And then just because it's close, and I didn't uh, use any biscuits earlier this week, i use one for total paste. We have a couple of things to check. We'll call it there. Hmm. That's also a good question. Let's go with Marowak, since it's a berry gatherer, folks may need just a little bit of extra to help get it evolved. Okay. Let's check some stats. Quiet Nature, Riolu. It's a skill-based Pokemon. <clears throat> this particular one has got everything. Plex oil, potatoes, and eggs. Stream shard magnet. Helping speed, skill level up, skill trigger, inventory up, skill level up. The ingredient finding out. That's not bad. It's probably middle middle of the pack. I mean, skill level up and skill trigger by level 50. That's that's big. Especially if you do need to just continue to get more dream shards in there. Yeah, that's not terrible. Alright, I'm excited to check the actual breakdown on that. Next up... Togepi. 
Quan as well. Also a skill-based Pokemon. This one also getting everything in its pile. In it has Metronome. Ingredient Finder, Skill Trigger, Inventory Up, Skill Level Up, Health and Speed. So that's also an interesting loadout. Hmm. I don't know anybody that uses the metronome skill based Pokemon, but it'd be kind of interesting, right? If you got something that does use that. Uh, you know, you want to gather that kind of weird mix of ingredients. It's like, eggs and cocoa are good for, like, desserts. The ginger's kind of nice for the curries and salads. And then it just, at points, will just randomly trigger one of the other team members' skills. Hmm. Alright. Both of them seem pretty good. So I'll check the stats on them, report back later. <laughs> Good sneaky snacking from last night. An ingredient ticket for today's rewards stamp. Happy to have some more sleep points as these are quickly piling up, which is great. Want to continue uh, stacking up on those master biscuits for when Suicune eventually shows up. Because now it looks like it might be deferred a little bit because of the anniversary. Which, not too upset about. I'd rather have the annual celebration. Alright, looks like we got some news. Oh, no, it's a medal. Okay. What's the medal for today? 350 scores of 80 or higher. Where we're closely approaching 365, so... It's only been a handful of days that things were still at a learning curve. Oh, it's actually fun. I haven't, um... stepped on the screen in a, in a few minutes. Just fun to see that a little bit more than half of the sleep styles studied, uh, and still another 30, 30 Pokemon still left to befriend. So, still got a good chunk of exploration and research ahead. Let the rest of you sleep. Let's check another community research. 36. Alright, maybe some of that anniversary research did take a toll. <laughs> okay. I think it's time for some breakfast. some tails in there? Yes, please. Oh, and a trigger from Kangaskhan. Some fiery herbs back? That's nice. That's a little early, but that's okay. It's breakfast. I don't remember that for lunch and dinner. Oh! That's right. I skipped it. Skip getting my, my anniversary gift. I want to make sure I can collect that today. Let's get a cooking. Thankfully, it's been a good surplus of additional ingredients. So it hasn't been difficult adding anything to the pot. Woohoo! Yes! 
just the way I like to start the day. I did get an extra tasty for lunch yesterday, so now I am at at least baseline where I am for missing lunch and dinner on Monday. So that puts us into Ultra 3. Which is setting a pretty good pace, actually, for this week. Got 148 sleep styles unlocked. Ultra 4 is about 40,000, 30,000 away. So, between sneaky snacking and lunch, I'll already be at Ultra 4. And probably by the time I get to dinner and wake up tomorrow, halfway to Ultra 5. The extra percentages across the board have really been making a big difference in just overall progress through the week. So, happy to be getting a little bit further along a little bit quicker. Now, got one extra bit of tidbit of news that I want to share before wrapping up. Some of you may have saw the snowver that was caught yesterday. 94%. So happy to see that. So, despite not having an ingredient finder sub skill all the way up to 100, still an absolute powerhouse of finding stuff, which is great. And I can still get a little bit better with a sub skill seed to get that ingredient finder S to ingredient finder M. So, if I really want Snowbird trucking, I certainly can. Uh, Really the important thing with this Pokemon is its efficiency gets real good right at level 30. After getting that inventory up and being able to then also get additional tomatoes. It's also perfectly in line with when it evolves. So this will also be one of those candidates that when candy tasks come around, going to be putting it heavily into Snover to make sure that I can get that to 30, evolve it, and then get it on the field, helping out the rest of the team. Because that will be fantastic for help when gathering tomatoes for a lot of the curry dishes, but uh, salads too. Or if I just need filler for desserts. Yeah, so like Dream Eater Butter Curry is a little bit more attainable because that has, I have a team that I can put together of ingredient collectors that will be able to actually produce that. There, there are not a whole lot, not as many tomato dishes as I thought. Maybe I'm thinking more salads. I mean, green grass salad that is more possible now i just need really good oil production so for mushroom salad and the overheat ginger salad certainly uh, also couldn't get some work done but yeah I'm just happy that it turned out well so i have to i can stop skill trick. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm just happy that I can stop searching for Snover so hard that uh, that that quest do that is uh, at an end, and it's a good combination of ingredients too. So uh, tomatoes and mushrooms good combo and I don't really have to spend too much more other than just candy and dream shards leveling it and evolving it that uh, that nature is doing a lot of the lifting 
And yeah, it's going to be EXP down, so it's going to be a little bit harder to get it to 30 compared to another. But that just means that getting it to its final result is going to take a little bit more time. But overall, it's going to be worthwhile because once it's out there, that's its only downside. So, very happy with how this turned out. So, the rest of this week can just be chill, find other sleep styles, other Pokemon that I haven't uh, recruited before, and just focus on that. Because we'll have the anniversary event coming up. Ooh, that is not what I wanted to tap on. Because we've got anniversary starting next Monday, so that's where I'll be heading. Uh, I'll be heading off to Greengrass for that. So thankfully, Snowdrop can get on the back burner for a few weeks. And I already kind of saw this coming, even if Suicune wasn't here. That like, hey, there's probably an event coming. Either Suicune or some other event. Greengrass is where that happens. Chances are there's going to be over the next couple of weeks couple more uh, green grass events so I've still got that to work through because after the end of this week we'll be at 35% area bonus meaning that I've got about another five weeks or so total um, on snowdrop but that doesn't mean that I have to um, necessarily do that consecutively I guess now I was having the thought that like this Nova is going to be super hard to track down I'm not going to see it it's going to take five weeks trying to get slumbering sleep and even then it may not be the ideal like the uh, ideal loadout so there's still some stuff to find on snowdrop but it is now my most heavily <laughs> completed research. And now that Master 3 is a little bit more easily attainable, it feels good. So, there may be some spots. Yeah, I'm going to be going back to green grass. There's going to be nine new total Pokemon to find with the three starters and their evolutions. I still have to find a decent Toto Dial. I uh, still haven't found a good Comfey either. Or Cramorant. It's been a bit since I've actually gone through and looked at the spawn list. There, there are still some Pokemon I haven't seen, but at least for the most part, I think I'm told, I think I just need a good Vulpix, Onyx, certainly. I got a good Delibird out of here. No, a better Absol would certainly not hurt. And I can still find Grammar in here as well, so maybe that's what I'll be keeping an eye out for. So, that's also still a uh, slumbering sleep type, so I can still try to focus on that. And Lapis... We'll be there sooner than later. Not too far off. And green grass is just everything in the kitchen sink. But yeah, that's at least um, what uh, what I got planned. But with that, that covers everything that I wanted to today, or at least today's sleep research. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know how your week's going down in the comments below, and I'll see you back tomorrow for some more sleep research.
But until then, sleep well.